All right, on this Wednesday, we are going back. We are going way, way, way back. Dino Fest returns to the Science Museum this weekend. Shane Wells is with her fossilized friends for a preview of the event. Good morning. Yes, many, many of these fossilized friends here around us. And uh, we have Dr. Alex Hastings as well, who's a paleontologist here at the Science Museum of Minnesota, also known as Dr. Crocogator. <laughs> I got That's that right. right. Yep, very good. And of course, we're stationed here by some of the creatures by we speak of. an amazing crocodilian, yeah. So are these your favorite? Like, why are you Dr. Crocogator? Oh, because crocodiles and all their uh, relatives are the most fantastically interesting and beautiful creatures that have ever existed. Wow, well, some big <laughs> words, a big description of there. Course. So you are a paleontologist here. You're part of the Dino Fest that's happening this that's weekend. Right. You currently go out and on digs right? often yeah. as well. So you're living in it outside and inside here at the museum. Got Let's it. talk Dino Fest. What are some of the things that are gonna be happening here? So we are gonna be bringing a ton of stuff out from the vault. We're gonna have our lab open. We're also going to have our uh, big, awesome uh, juvenile T-Rex puppet. Uh, it's going to be getting introduced to uh, Rory, the mascot of the Minnesota Aurora is gonna be over oh. here. We're gonna have some live animals from the Minnesota Zoo. And we are gonna be opening up uh, one of our field jackets from the dig we just got back from in Montana. Um, so that's gonna be the first time that anyone other than the crew that dug it out are gonna get a chance to see the dinosaurs that we just dug up. What, will you explain what a field yes, jacket is? Yes, of course, is? so a field jacket. So when we find dinosaur bones, um, we often have to encase them in plaster and that gives us a nice uh, hard case that's custom fit to the bone. Um, so we call that a jacket or a plaster jacket, field jacket, um, and that allows us to safely transport that back to the museum. Um, so we are gonna be opening that up on full display at DinoFest. What's in there, come on. So you it is, idea, yeah, right? of course, of course. <laughs> so this was right next to a bone that we opened up actually at DinoFest last year, which um, we're not entirely sure. It uh, seems like it's a young uh, duckbill dinosaur, oh. um, but it, it might be a different type of dinosaur. Anyway, this uh, jacket that we're opening this time was right next to that, and that seems to have a part of the hip section as well as another leg bone there and should be from the same individual. Now this last year we did find another type of dinosaur, a triceratops, um, so there's a possibility that there's other dinosaurs in the mix there, but uh, no matter what, we're very excited about it. We'll have to like really get it out and clean it up to, to know exactly what it is, but You'll, uh, folks that come to DinoFest will be right on the ground floor for it. Dr. Crocogator, thank you for your time. If you guys want to come check out DinoFest, it is happening on Saturday, 11 to 3, and you can get your tickets and learn more at smm.org. Back to you.